Hello guys, I hope you're fine. I'm not doing very well, but I've decided to do some video today on politics. And uh, the major aspect, of course, is the court hearing of uh, Gashagwa's um, claim against the government for impeachment process. Um, recently, one of the latest complaints is that the impanelment of uh, the team and uh, of that file that came from Kergoya was not right. But it has been declared that it was just right. So what is the future for Gashago here? Let's watch the anger uh, that uh, most of the judges standing with Gashago are showing. They were literally shouting in court. Time as he wants. Let the professor be given as much time as he wants. Let the only attorney general be given as much time as he wants. That is the healing process. And from this court, we shall all march forward with confidence. If I may quote Mutajo Mutinata, Kifu and Bear and Matako. Let us forget about corporate time. Where are we going? Where are we going with the case? With respect, we used to say that. Kamino is talking. We used to say that. I am talking. I am talking. Well, and under, the, under the, the rules of this court, yeah. senior counsel has preference, speaks first before any other person except the attorney general. So if you would please sit down, I as senior counsel. I will not sit down, we are practically all your children doing great speaking. That is also true. <laughs> because, you know, we, we have Dekora Matemba. If you have a professor of law, Misbehaving at the bar, then the bar. I'm arguing that you are exempt, but that's the mark. We will run fast, then we make the The taking of the code file 015 from the Nyala in the middle of the night was a gross irregularity. You saw that. What do you think? Comment. Apart from that, um, I just went back to the claims Geshagwa had made from hospital, and I'm questioning myself, is this true? When um, Rigadi, for example, indicates that he's been killed, is it out of political death? Because 10 years is going to be, you know, worthless. He will face a political death. So is that what you're saying? Now, I want you to look at Dorcas and see whether Undercover she really thinks it's a physical death or just a political death. And that's what I can read on her it. face. And at some point, she had to and leave and cry away from this thing. We detected it. I was supposed to be killed through poisoning. And we were able to escape the, the scheme. I was supposed to be killed through poisoning. On 3rd of September, yeah, so you've seen that. I don't know what you think. Comment. Now, I was just uh, thinking about this part where Rigadi said he did not know Ruto was that vicious. I don't know. Does it turn vicious when it's about him? Because while they were working together, uh, Ruto has been vicious all through. Like, look at what happened to the young people who died, about 60, during the demonstration. And Ruto's student said these were criminals. And when he went to BBC for an interview, he still said the same sentiment, regardless of having pulled uh, down a bit uh, after the demonstrations. So does he mean he doesn't know? Now, how true are the claims that they want him dead? I don't know whether they would really want to kill him, if politically they've already finished him. So how would it be practical that they would want to kill him? Yeah, so... Um, I'm just referring to something that was said earlier and in relation to uh, the Meru case and uh, let's watch this. They have tried to kill us before. They have now tried to get us out of office. So I asked President William Ruto, my brother, I helped you to be president. Leave me alone. Leave my children alone. Do whatever you want. But let me leave. Let me look after my children. Now, back when uh, referring to Uhuru, Arigade has ever said that he, he will be killed. 
and uh, therefore it has become like a norm so somebody kiwa hapa nyeri usiue sisi vile baba yako aliua jaiye mkarioki yeah uh, was it yesterday he went to this i don't know what unfolded but he went to this high to share or rather to record a statement in relation to his um claims uh, do you think this is uh, he's just messing up himself when he should just be going home and focusing maybe on economic growth because politically he's done now some people are prospecting that uh, he may return to office until 2027 how true is this so let's keep watch and uh, in another video i saw uh, the aspect that he had asked from uhuru and uh, not uhuru but ruto uh, for money so that he can resign and he didn't get it so that's how it got up but as for him he's saying the impeachment came after two attempts of killing him i don't know what exactly did, was his secret and how is it difficult to for the government to do this because i'm looking at oko saitoti and that many other people have killed in, have been killed in the hands of uh, the government so how difficult was it and how true are his claims now what do you think about gashagwa and the current case is he going to win or lose it yeah so let's continue watching and see media and bloggers you can never know what is true there are people who are circulating videos about kome and i'm not sure whether this video applies to current or it was during another time so just comment if you think it's authentic or it's something that is just circulating and if this is true where is where is justice or rather the constitution going in this country these threats and declarations are extremely serious and a monumental assault to the constitution it is also an assault to the rule of law and the very stability of the nation and can lead to chaos and anarchy in our motherland. The declaration that they will no longer obey court orders and the subsequent actual defiance of the orders granted by the courts are untenable and amount to contempt of court. And if this course is around to continue and abated, we are on the precipice of a constitutional crisis that loud and clear now the challenge is not even the current case but uh, what about the future cases and if this is true because this may not be an actual um clip but there have been um rumors that uh cj uh, kome has been threatened and i think we saw very well that it is the deputy of the the, uh, the judge who had to call a meeting at night as indicated by the judges who are standing for Gashago. I'm not defending Gashago because after all why should I care about him? I'm only worried about the justice system in the country. Now um as we look forward there is another clip I would wish you to actually uh, see and here we have Kasmuel Kasmuel many of you unsubscribed to his channel and he was sharing something saying that Gashagwa deserves what he met what do you think about this does he deserve what he met so let's see and as we end this we have future videos continue viewing regarding Gashagwa the politician deserves everything that's happening to him the former deputy president of Kenya deserves everything that's happening to him as a politician i don't know him as a father i don't know him as a husband i cannot speak to those aspects of his life but as a politician the man that he's presented to us he deserves everything and more he's a horrible politician he's driven hate is said nothing when youth were being killed if anything if you think about last year the things that he said about Raila Odinga and 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 and, and the protesters who joined him the things that he's been saying as a politician brother you deserve everything and i don't have an i don't have an iota not a little ounce not the tiniest bit of sympathy towards your political woes you deserve it if anything we, we were hoping that both of you would go but now that we have you i i, I accept